Psalm 90. Let's look at from verse 13. Fifteen, move to fifteen. Make us glad according to the days wherein thou hast afflicted us the last one day, and the years wherein we had seen evil. Verse sixteen. Let thy work appear unto your servants. That is law. Manifest yourself in my life. Show the world that you are in charge. Let me experience your reality. Let your work appear unto your servants and your glory unto their children. Let your work appear unto your servants and your glory unto their children. That is... Deliver our children from reproach and shame. Deliver our children from disgrace and ignominy. That shall happen to you. When it is time to pray on that point, you can pray for your children and pray also for your brothers, your sisters, your loved ones. Let your glory appear upon our children. Let our children stand out. Let them be generational stars. And you place it back on the screen. And let the beauty of the Lord, our God, be upon us. And establish that the work of our hands upon us here, the work of our hands, establish it. Now, I want to deal on the beauty of the Lord. Just quickly. There are things but before I go there it is not possible to approach God and not be beautified Psalm 96 verse 6 he said honor and majesty are before him Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. Honor and majesty are before him. Strength and beauty are in his sanctuary. To be connected to God is to be beautified by him. There is no one here today that is permitted to be a victim of ugliness, shame or reproach because strength and beauty are in his sanctuary say Lord let your beauty be seen upon us I think that was what Potiphar's wife must have seen on Joseph that was what they also saw on David remember 1 Samuel chapter 16 verse 17 they said and Saul said unto his servant provide me now a man that can play well and bring him to me and then they answered one of the servants and said behold I have seen this a son of Jesse the Be Be Bethlehemite that he is cunning in plain and a mighty valiant man a man of war prudent in matters and a comely person that means a good looking person can you give me another translation and the Lord is with him a comely person see the message Bible said one of the young men spoke up I know someone I have seen him myself the son of Jesse of Bethlehem an excellent musician he's also courageous of age well spoken and good looking and God is with him it is not possible to be related to God and be uglified by the devil God is with him and he is a good looking person Daniel chapter 1 and in verse 4 if you remember the criteria 
he said get me children in whom there was no blemish well favored skillful in all wisdom and cunning in knowledge now give me another translation that word well favored is also the same word as good looking young men who were healthy and handsome that was Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Young men, healthy, handsome. This handsomeness is not a physical, it's not a function of the physical handsomeness, but of the presence of the Lord. Am I communicating at all? Tonight, every garment hanging on your life that has made your destiny to look ugly, from this prayer tonight, your life shall be beautified. If you are saying amen, say it like a believer. Shout a louder, believers. Amen. What will the beauty of the Lord do for you, number one? Beauty imparts attraction. The beauty of the Lord imparts attraction. Attraction. That is when God beautifies you, rejection gets swallowed attraction number two beauty guarantees access talking of the beauty of the law access doors open for you where it was closed for others doors open for you where it was closed for others access openings the summary of the two is called favor. Attraction and access summarizes to, 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 to be what is called favor. People who don't know you.